Hello, um, you vlogger dome Gary video. Gary, just uh, I'll do a video because I've just watched your uh, pussycat and I have just watched listen to your last video walking and talking about my comment. And there was a lot of effort went into that, um, as in you what we'd call you were trying to understand what I was saying. So I do appreciate the fact that you. Um, on many occasions, and many people would just go dismiss it, dismiss it, smash it around. But you'd come back to it, come back to it, and come back to it. And you, you were genuinely what we call trying to understand what I was talking about. So I've, the, all through the video, as you were talking about it, all, though I was getting frustrated, you, well, you didn't quote that bit of what I wrote, but each time I knew you'd read it, so you were getting to parts and going, and I knew you were getting close. So I, um, I'll just keep this short and say, right at the end, you, you kind of were starting to put your finger on it. But obviously, we've got this semantic problem, um, as all, of course we do have. But uh, you were getting there right at the end when you said that, what should we call it, nature had to make it real so when intelligence came along later it wouldn't go well I just don't need to take any notice of you do I and that actual statement obviously doesn't make sense because well nothing I'm not knocking you for it but I mean nature doesn't do anything in advance of something that's going to happen in the future it's just a dumb thing that happens but I mean that's nothing we don't know but the, the thing is the realness Nature had to make it real, so intelligence couldn't just override it. I understand your wording there, but and and the level that it was coming out at, and it was you know kind of in between where you are and I am. It was a very good effort to kind of bridge the gap or move towards what I was trying to say. Nature tried to had to make it real so that intelligence couldn't override it. I think we can. I think that's a sort of place that we could start discussion from. Of course, nature can't make it real. It, can't, it just can't make it real because it's got no realness for for it to fabricate it out of. It just can't do it. Um, a notion is basically the substance of what it is making it out of. It doesn't have any other um, stuff up in the head. It's got electrical and chemical firings between meaty stuff, which arrives at, you know, sort of, what, what should we call it, um, ideas. It, that's, it, it's got this ethereal sort of, that's all it's got. It can't do anything real. If there is um, suffering, it can't physically make a little bone that goes in from the nose backwards and washes around in the brain, smashing it up. In a way, that would be real. All it can do is notion sort of representation. That's all it's got to deal with, sort of representation. And an idea that I'm a pink pussycat or... Um, somebody's just stuck an eye, uh, no, and that's too close to the head, somebody's just cut my leg off, it's going to, the brain is going to deal in the same stuff, and it's either all real, or none of it's real. Now, real, realistically, if we're going to use our best um, notion of what the word real means, none of it's real, because it's only electrical chemical impulses in meaty bits in the brain. So to call it real is, I, I don't mind calling it real. I'll call it real or unreal as long as all of that um, representation in the brain is the same. Yeah, it's, 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 it's no different from me thinking that I'm Napoleon. You know, that's more likely than a pink pussycat. Um, in other words, I'm a deluded idiot. Uh, not idiot, I mean, people, their brains don't work properly and they think they're Napoleon. That's no different from the same stuff that's being used to create the Im impression 
or the representation, that's a better one, representation of somebody who's just um, angle grinded your, your leg off. It's dealing in the same stuff. It isn't that nature has made something real, so intelligence can't override it. Now, I'm not saying intelligence can override it. What it's done is made something with a megaphone that is so fucking loud that probably intelligence will never be able to override it. But it's all the same stuff that's being used. The intelligence stuff is no more real or less real than the suffering representation of pain stuff. It is all the same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave it there because um, I think I think we could agree on something ar around that. And as long as we agree on something around that, I'd be well happy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to repeat it. I'll, quick, quick, quick recap: that the representations made by the brain in chemical or electrical firings in the meaty neurons in the brain are using the same stuff, real or not, for representation of a leg being cut off or the idea that I am Napoleon. It's the same system being used, it's the same stuff and we can call it real or unreal. I don't mind, not in the slightest bit bothered, as long as we can maybe agree that it's the same stuff. Yeah. Thanks for the effort on that walk and talk. I did appreciate it.